Arman Rahim. The topic of our discussion today is septic abortion. What is meant by abortion? It is the spontaneous or induced termination of pregnancy before fetal viability. How WHO defines abortion? It is the expulsion or extraction from its mother of an embryo or fetus weighing 500 gram or less when it is not capable of independent survival. What are the types of spontaneous abortion? The inevitable abortion is the one in which there is intrauterine pregnancy with cervical dilatation and vaginal bleeding. In incomplete abortion, the cervix is open, some tissue has passed. In complete abortion, the pregnancy has been expelled completely. In missed abortion, embryo never formed or demise, but the uterus has not expelled the sac. In septic abortion, either missed or incomplete abortion becomes infected. So, on the whole, there are two types of abortion. First, the spontaneous abortion, which include threatened, inevitable, complete, incomplete, missed or septic, which is less common. The induced abortion can be legal or illegal, which is unsafe. The septic is common. What is septic abortion? Any abortion associated with clinical evidences of infection of the uterus and its contents is called the septic abortion. What is the diagnostic criteria of the septic abortion? Abortion is usually considered septic if there is a rise of the temperature of at least 100 degree Fahrenheit or 38 degree centigrade for 24 hours or more, when there is offensive or purulent vaginal discharge, or when there are evidences of the pelvic infection such as lower abdominal pain and tenderness. Now we will talk about the incidence of the septic abortion. 10% of the abortions requiring admission to the hospital are septic. Most of them are associated with incomplete abortion. Majority of the cases of the infection occur following illegally induced abortion. And they can also occur following spontaneous abortion. Now, why is there association of sepsis in illegally induced abortion? First of all, proper antiseptic and aseptic techniques are not followed. Secondly, there is incomplete evacuation. Thirdly, there is inadvertent injury to the genital organs and adjacent structures, particularly the bowels. What microorganisms are involved in the septic abortion? The anaerobes include bacteriides group like Fragilis, anaerobic streptococci, Clostridium welshi, and the tetanus bacillus. The aerobic species include E. coli, Klebsiella, Staphylococcus, MRSA, Pseudomonas, Group A, Hemolytic Streptococcus infection. Now let us talk about the pathology of the septic abortion. In 80% of the cases, the organisms are endogenous in origin. Infection is localized to the conceptants and no myometrial involvement is there. In 15% of the cases, infection produces localized endomyometritis. In 5% of the cases, there is generalized peritonitis or endotoxic shock. In some cases, there is necrotizing infection or the toxic shock syndrome. With what clinical features patient with septic abortion presents? First of all, patient can be sick or anxious. Temperature may be more than 38 degrees centigrade. Patient may present with chills and rigors due to bacteremia. Patient may present with hypothermia of less than 36 degrees centigrade due to endotoxic shock. There can be persistent tachycardia of more than 90 beats per minute or tachypnea of more than 20 per minute. Patient may present with impaired mental state, abdominal pain or the chest pain, diarrhea and vomiting or the renal angle tenderness. When we do pelvic examination, there can be offensive virulent vaginal discharge, uterine tenderness, bogey feel in the pouch of the Douglas due to pelvic abscess. The routine investigations include cervical or high vaginal swabs, blood test for HB, ABO, RH factor and total leukocyte count, urine analysis and the culture. The special investigations include ultrasonography of the pelvis and abdomen, the blood culture, serum electrolytes, the PT, APTT level and the plain x-ray of both abdomen and the chest. The expected complications can be immediate or remote. The immediate complications include hemorrhage. Secondly, the injury to the adjacent organ, including the uterus and the bowel, generalized peritonitis, endotoxic shock, and severe cases. We may come, uh, we may encounter the acute renal failure as well. The remote complications of the septic abortion include chronic debility, chronic pelvic pain, and the backache, dyspareunia 
ectopic pregnancy, secondary infertility due to tubal blockage, and emotional depression of the patient. The general management of the septic abortion include first of all hospitalization, secondly vaginal or the cervical swab, we must do appropriate vaginal examination and after oral assessment we should send investigations according to the hospital protocol. The principles of the management include first of all to control sepsis, to remove the source of infection, to give supportive therapy in order to bring back the normal hemostasis and cellular metabolism and to assess the response of the treatment. Drugs which are commonly used for the septic emotions include first of all antibiotics which we will discuss later on, secondly prophylactic anti-gas cancrine serum because the clostridium valsha is involved in the septic abortion and we also go for the analgesia and sedatives. Now the antibiotic of choice in case of the septic abortion include different regimes. One is that of the Peperacillin, Tazobactam or Carbapenem plus Clindamycin IV. Another regime is uh, Peperacillin, Tazobactam and Carbapenems. We may give her the Vancomycin or Tecoplanin or the Clindamycin, Gentamycin 3 to 5 mg per kg single dose or the Coamoxiclave or the Metronidazole. Now, supportive treatment is also very important in the form of IV crystallite. Now, these patients may present with very low HP, so in certain cases, we may go for the blood transfusion as well. Now, evacuation of the uterus is also very important. Evacuation is held within at least 48 hours when the infection is controlled and localized, but excessive bleeding is an indication means in case of the excessive bleeding uh, we go for the immediate evacuation of the uterus in certain cases we go for the posterior colpotomy especially if we have boggy mass feeling bass like feeling in the posterior fornix and the infection is localized in the pouch of the douglas due to pelvic abscess so in that case we go for the posterior colpotomy now, what are the indications for ICU management? Those include the changes in the CVS-like persistent hypertension and the race serum lactate, the respiratory changes like the pulmonary edema, mechanical ventilation, and for airway protection. The renal indications include renal dialysis. The neurological indications include the impaired consciousness and miscellaneous indications include multi-organ failure, hypothermia, and acidosis. What are the indications of the active surgery in patients with a septic abortion? Those include injury to the uterus suspected injury to the bowel foreign body in the abdomen sonography or x-ray felt through fornix on the pv means either on sonography or an x-ray or on uh, pv examination we suspect the pelvic abscess moreover if the patient is unresponsive or not responding to the conservative management or when the uterus is too big to be safely evacuated per vaginum so these are all the indications of active surgery so thank you so much that was all about this septic abortion subscribe on obscene gyne allah hafiz